Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw Their Life. And the shout out winners for the previous episode are. Thanks guys for subscribing. You guys are awesome. If you want to win a shout out, subscribe to my channel and comment that you've subscribed. And I'll announce the winners in the next episode. And today we're drawing the awesome life of Rick and Morty. I know some of you in the comment section will be like, Rick and Morty's a cartoon. You can't draw the life of a cartoon. I mean, most of you already know about the famous cartoon series Rick and Morty, the series which is more meta than Deadpool. The show's funny and philosophical. It has satire, meta humor, references, clever comedy. In fact, very well crafted and written. At first glance, you might think it's quite dumb. Then you'll slowly realize that it's quite clever. From the intro to the continuing storyline, the show has a lot to offer. I was very impressed with episodes like Evil Morty and Pickle Rick. Today, in this episode, we're covering everything from the origin of the show to its writers to the storyline and characters. So, without further ado, let's go right into the video. Rick and Morty is an animated series which started airing in 2014. It's an American science fiction series penned by Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. The series revolves around the title characters Rick Sanchez and Morty Smith and their family. Rick is the grandfather and Morty's the grandson. The series inspiration came from the movie Back to the Future. In the family, there's a total of five main characters. Let's see about the characters in detail. Rick Sanchez is a 70-year-old alcoholic scientist who generally dislikes the human species. He's reckless, emotionally abusive, and basically a sociopath mad scientist. He knows everything about the world and thinks that life is a waste of time. His knowledge about infinite universes and possibilities takes him to a lot of adventure trips. He usually drags his grandson Morty to these dangerous activities. And many times the family had to go through issues because of him. Rick cares for his family too, but he tries very hard not to show his emotions. However, there's an unpredictability in his behavior where he can suddenly turn selfish and harm anyone to get his way. Rick's an atheist and he thinks he controls his life on his own with vast knowledge about everything from electrical engineering to nanomedicine to quantum mechanics to time travel. Next is Morty Smith, the grandson of Rick. Mortimer Morty Smith is a 14-year-old teenager. His character is depicted as anxious, self-doubting, weak kid who is traumatized by his granddad Rick's adventures. Mostly he's called as stupid by Rick and others. However, Morty's shown to have a better understanding of society and people in many situations. Our next character is Morty's sister, Summer. Summer Smith is a 17-year-old teenage girl who always worries about her status among her peers. She's this approval-seeking character but shown being smart and humorous occasionally. Summer is jealous of Morty for his opportunities to be with Rick in the adventures. She likes Rick and is shown as caring about him more than any other members of the family. Next is Morty's mom and dad, Beth and Jerry. Beth Smith is Rick's daughter and she had a dysfunctional childhood. Rick and his wife got divorced when Beth was very young and she was single-handedly raised by her mom. However, Beth believes that Rick is a better parent than her mom and Rick left the family because of mom. She always wants to keep Rick with her and that's why all these sociopath behaviors are being tolerated in the family. Beth's a veterinarian who does horse surgeries. Jerry Smith, Beth's husband, on the other hand, does not like Rick and often blames him for being very self-centered. He's an insecure, meek husband who avoids confrontations. In the third season, Beth and Jerry get divorced because of Rick only to get back together in season four. Oops, that was a spoiler. I mean, deal with it. By this time, you should have already watched this series, so I'm totally not responsible for the spoilers. When we talk about this brilliant animated series, we have to talk about the brilliant creators behind this. Justin Roiland was born in 1980, which makes him 40 years old. He got into acting and writing in the late 90s and early 2000s. In 2004, he attended this monthly short film festival called Channel 101. There, he created many short movies and acted in them. Channel 101 is co-founded by Dan Harmon. Dan was impressed with Justin's work and they got along really well. Dan Harmon was born in 1973, which makes him 47 years old. After his graduation, he was into music, writing, acting, and all. Then he and his friends founded Channel 101, where he met Justin. They started getting involved in many writings and creations together on this platform. In 2009, one of Dan's sitcoms got aired on NBC. From then on, he worked with NBC as an executive producer. Dan resigned from NBC in 2012. Meanwhile, in 2006, Justin had created this animation named Real Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty. It was made as a parody of the famous American movie Back to the Future. The characters in the movie Doc Brown and Marty McFly was paractured with characters Doc and Marty. This animation was an interesting one. 
After moving out of NBC, Dan Harmon started working with Justin Roiland on developing these characters, Doc and Marty, into an animated series. It's from there the Rick and Morty characters were developed. To make it more interesting with many characters, they made it into a family, made them grandfather and grandson, and introduced other family members. Justin gives voice to the main two characters, Rick and Morty. Dan voices the recurring best friend character, Bird Person. Justin and Dan got into talks with Cartoon Network for the series. Cartoon Network first took a 30 minutes episode pilot for airing. It was named Rick and Morty, and it was aired in Cartoon Network's nighttime programming block called Adult Swim. This is the 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. time slot where the usual audience of Cartoon Network sleeps, and that time is dedicated for adult animation series. The first series started airing on December 2, 2013, with 11 episodes. The season ended on April 14, 2014. In the first season, first few episodes were just in a picking up stage. The characters were developing, and the audience had to be familiar with what to expect from whom. Slowly, with more episodes, the season started getting momentum. The monster bacterias in Stomach, Meeseek's character, and Aliens really made a mark. The Love Potion episode was loved by the audience. Towards the end of the season, it's revealed that the original Rick is from the Earth Dimension C-137. This is not true for other family members. They might be from a different dimension. In one episode, Rick and Morty set out to kill the Ricks from alternative dimensions as they were trying to kill the original Rick. Then the Mortys from different dimensions help in this mission. It's crazy how the creativity went uphill in these episodes. In the last episode of the season, Rick and Morty turned the entire population of Earth, but their family, into monsters. And they moved to a different dimension, leaving the family behind. The first season went very well with the audience. In fact, the series was told to be one of those which becomes your favorite as soon as you start watching it. Viewers love the wild imaginative writing, and everyone agreed it's very unique and nothing like they've ever watched before. With the positive audience response, the show was renewed for another season. Everyone was curious to know what's going to happen next. So the second season was aired from July 26, 2015 to October 4, 2016 with 10 episodes. The second season got Rick and Morty into time travel and dealing with a lot of that. In some episodes, they travel to another planet and aliens come into the scene. Then the microverse concept was introduced. The story then moved into much more interesting science. Rick gets into a younger Rick body called the Tiny Rick. Later, he moves back to his original self. In this season, Morty's sister, Summer, also accompanies Rick and Morty in their adventures. At the end of season two, Rick is being imprisoned by the Galactic Federation for doing so many crimes in different dimensions and universes, and his family thinks he's abandoned them. With the success of the second season, one more season was contracted by Cartoon Network. The third season was aired from April 1, 2017 to October 1, 2017, with 10 episodes in two parts of five episodes each. In this season, Rick gets out of the prison using a mind-swapping device and sent the Galactic Federation out of Earth. The family comes in as a center of the stories in this season. Beth and Jerry got divorced, and the science fiction revolves around the family drama here. Summer is more in the picture with her tantrums and insecurities. This season has shown some grossness and violence, which is, of course, used as a catalyst for dark comedy. As the storyline was more like a progression in all the episodes, unlike other seasons, where each episode was kind of independent from what happened before. The season ends where Beth and Jerry get back together and the whole family having a great time together. After the third season, there was no further plans for a next season. Justin and Dan wanted a long-term contract, not just another season. It was only in May 2018 the discussions began again and Cartoon Network gave an order of 70 episodes from the writers. This was a good deal and the work for the next season started. The latest and fourth season started airing from November 10, 2019. The two-year gap between the last season and this season is the highest gap they've ever had between seasons. Five episodes are telecasted already, and the audience reaction to these are pretty massive. The Talking Cat episode got everyone into a lot of thinking, even though it was meant to do the opposite and enjoy. The writer said that as the contract is for a good number of episodes, there won't be much gap between seasons anymore, and they're constantly working on the project without taking up any other work. Keeping everything aside, guys, I think Rick and Morty's a brilliant series. They talk about multidimensional activities, multi-realities, space travel, time travel, and anything the human mind can think of, and beyond. It becomes introspective at times and makes the audience think about life. With searching the point of life to talking about human mind and exploring other universes to leaving Earth and coming back and living a normal, non-functional American family life, this show's a roller coaster ride for a viewer. 
it shows mad imagination and creativity by its creators. And they've pulled all those heavy intensity ideas into relatable ground level funny dialogues. Being insane and deep and funny at the same time is what drives the audience crazy for this show. Justin and Dan have used their creative freedom in the most insane levels and have written some incredibly beautiful stories. And just like you, even I can't wait for the next five episodes. So there guys, that was the Draw My Life of Rick and Morty. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more amazing Draw My Life videos, subscribe to my channel guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, peace out.